Okay folks, welcome to changing the brake pads on the back of the Vauxhall Combo 1.7 CDTI. Okay, so the first thing you do is uh, chalk up your wheels. You can just see down there, another one. I guess the next task is to uh, remove the wheel trims. The wheel trims are removed by inserting uh, a large screwdriver or a tire lever uh, just underneath the plastic trim and they are actually spring loaded at the back which I'll show you the wheel nuts must now be slackened off before the van is raised on the jack and the nut you're going to use is a 17 millimeter, and um, they are quite often over tightened by garages so if you use an extender bar uh, you can apply more force to uh, undo the nuts you should always be careful tightening up with an extender bar though because it kind of shear the nuts off so use that to take the nuts to loosen the nuts and um, you don't take them right off until the vans have been jacked up Okay. Okay. In order to jack up the vehicle, uh, you need to look under here. Yeah. And there you see, see the little notch just there, right at the centre of the shop there. That little notch, there's where the jack goes. Okay. So if you look here. that fits into the notch okay so you fit the van jack into the notch which is a special jacking point um, provided by Vauxhall on these um, what, what's called a monocoque frame van um, it doesn't have a chassis and so you generally jack it up from that point you can also spot under the wheel axle but um, it's best to do it this way and also make sure that your wheels are chopped before you do this and you can now jack up the van and um, get ready to take your wheel nuts off take your wheel off so there we have the uh, the caliper and the disc are now exposed okay this item here this is called the uh, the caliper and uh, these uh, these are the slider bolts and these allow the caliper to move as the brake pad wears down okay so in order to remove the caliper um, we need to undo the handbrake cable and slacken it off um, and that's what we're going to do now okay this is the hood and this is just moved by um, prizing, prizing away the fitting at the side here right here we have the handbrake and uh, what we've done is we've um, pulled that back and, and down the side here you can see this little nut here just here that is being slackened off until it's slack okay so looking down the side of the caliper um, we now want to disconnect this this is the handbrake cable okay Once the uh, handbrake cable is slack, this should be a lot easier to do. Uh, once we've slackened the handbrake off, uh, this 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 piece here, this ball, this is the cable. That must be released in order to get the caliper off. So I'm going to put the screwdriver between here and here, and lever it so that the um, cable comes off okay there is a you can see at the back of this if you look there's like a spring uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera so just 
having came around a bit spring which is used to spring load this cable so what you now have is um, a clip just here which needs to be prized loose so that you can uh, get the handbrake cable free so there's the handbrake cable free um, it's not screwed on or anything like that it just slots through that hole okay okay here comes the difficult bit on um, an old van so there's essentially a nut here which is 17 millimeters and there's another one here which is 13 millimeters and you need to use two spanners to separate the two otherwise you might find the <laughs> they'll look a bit tight um, it doesn't look like a normal slider where there's only one bolt so if you look here what I've done once you've undone the two slider bolts there's one at the top there and there's one underneath there you essentially expose the pads so the next thing to do is to um, leave it away the uh, the disc pad so the pads are gently levered off on both sides um, by using a screwdriver and uh, pushing them uh, horizontally out and uh, then you just leave these off ready for the new ones uh, that's roughly how the other pad sits and you just leave it leave it horizontally outwards okay once you got the old pads off essentially um, take these clips off and they just leave it off with the screwdriver and um, give them a clean up with a wire brush so they're nice and shiny and then the pad just slides on in between the clips and uh, it should go on a lot easier than the old one came off that's for sure um, the other pad goes at the back here and uh, that's a bit more difficult to show you with one hand so I'll just do that okay so there you've got both pads on and the caliper now should go onto those now remember uh, these pads are thicker than the ones that came off because they're not worn yet so the caliper piston may need to be pushed back a little okay okay let me just explain a little bit about retracting the caliper okay that's roughly what the caliper looks like it's kind of a claw so it's kind of like this and um, that's your piston in the middle there you'll certainly see it when you take the thing off and it needs to be screwed in clockwise to retract it but it won't retract unless you apply pressure so that is why we have the G clamp um, so there's a sort of side view of the caliper there yep. and that's the piston so here's the same view but you basically put your G clamp onto the piston end like that and then the other end on the tip of the um, the caliper and that's actually where the, the if you buy a tool to do it that's where the tool will also sit um, and then you apply pressure with the g-cramp moderate pressure just just enough so you feel it's tightened up and then this here this is the plumber's wrench which I had in the in the shot and you use that um, you have to keep it clear of this this is the rubber boot just here because you don't want to damage the rubber boot so you grip the piston don't damage the rubber boot and rotate the piston clockwise one turn and then nip up the G cramp so that it tightens up and then what you do is you rotate another turn and nip up the G cramp now because you don't have the special tool this is quite laborious and it goes on for probably 20 minutes or something um, but it does save you 60 quid so there you go <laughs> that's how you retract the piston now to do this um, I have uh, improv improvised slightly with um, a G cramp and a plumber's wrench but you can buy um, piston retraction tools I think they're, they're fairly inexpensive actually, they're around £60 or so, if you wanted to actually buy one.
once the pistons are retracted you can uh, fit the caliper back over so these are the uh, old caliper bolts here and you get a courtesy set when you buy the brake pads so there's a new set these replacement sets here this blue material here this is a locking material which stops the nut from uh, vibrating loose and these nuts are reattached with uh, two spanners a 13 and a 17 when that's done um, don't forget to put all the handbrake components back put this this ball back into the joint there um, these these things don't you don't put grease anywhere near brakes so you just leave that alone and underneath there you can see there's the clip don't forget to put the clip back in so there we have the finished piece okay so now you put your wheel nuts back on loose and then drop the jack which is here okay so don't forget to tighten up your wheel nuts properly um, you really should use a torque wrench but you can you can tighten them normally but um, put your wheel trim back on and let your brake pads fitted um, it's inadvisable to do one side of a van um, because it will break unevenly so the other side has to be done too so don't forget that okay okay here's a quick video of all of the um, tools that we used to do this job so here you go wheel nut spanner and then there's a plumber's wrench which is used to retract the piston and there's a 10 mil spanner for the handbrake and there's a 17 and a 13 for the brake sliders and then there's um, a wire brush um, a tie lever for removing the trim and a file for filing off the rusty edge of the disc a G clamp for retracting the caliper um, an old screwdriver which is handy for removing the handbrake clip a hammer, a thumping mallet, some courtesy nuts, Mintex brake pads and a pair of jacks <laughs> okay and I guess you can probably tell what they were all for during the video so okay so that winds up this video on uh, doing the back brakes and the Vauxhall combo CDTI thanks very much for watching I uh, hope you catch us on the next video